guys uh, today is gonna be slightly different uh, from wrapping I have a few projects that I work on like my personal cars and I want to share with you what what I decided to do with my 240SX which let me just show you how my stock fender looks and um, I just want to do some modifications to it because I'm gonna run slightly bigger offset on wheels in order to get the maximum angle out of my um, Jeep setup so and uh, instead of buying fiberglass i've had it before in my cars and i normally don't like the way it fits it just never was perfect enough for me so this time i want to do something slightly different and um, i went on ebay and picked up this universal fenders it's actually done really nice super good quality hand rolled and uh, custom made only 80 bucks for a set of four and the size is a two inches length which is literally what I, what I need for my car so for my uh, suspension setup and I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the car so right there is already one side that I just did and uh, pretty straightforward you just measure everything out uh, plan where you want to put it and then from there and uh, just welding and um, this side is done. I decided to practice on one, on one side, on the passenger, so I can kind of get the feel for it. And I'm gonna film the whole process with explanation how to do it on the driver's side, which is that fender right there. So, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll show you the whole process. So this is the way I marked it. I copied the distance from here, from how much I cut here, and from where it ends here. So basically just three measurements, corner, upper, corner and then you just scratch it up right there so now you know that's I need to cut like somewhere right here to give me some room to weld on so like maybe like half an inch not half an inch a quarter of an inch right there and just cut it cut the line straight under it and that's pretty simple right there just cut that off and then mark the fender a little below this line and just weld it on <coughs> So next step, you want all the surface prepped for welding. And actually this fender metal is pretty thick itself. So it's, uh, you can weld it pretty easy. And uh, the quality of that metal is really good as well. So that one gets welded on like re real nice. I don't, I don't have like the best setup. I have like a Yes Welder Mix setup that's like 500 bucks. And you know, it does its job real nice. And um, I'm gonna show you how I set everything on right now, kinda tack it on, and then the whole welding process. Now let's try one more time. Actually, putting it on by yourself is kinda of tough. So that's the main problem here. Because I gotta make sure everything lines up where I want it. And uh, now, let's see. That's kind of where we want it, right there. So let's try it again. proper positioning at the top and that one I can kind of play around with switch right there let's put the tack there I see my mark Okay, now it's how where it's gonna be. That let's check the markings. This mark is slightly off, so I would like to shift the fender a little bit more in because it's slightly further compared to where I like it.
in the hole and now I just need to pressure, put some pressure right there and that holds right where I need it so I'm still going to apply some pressure right there, that's really good now just kind of bend the fender a bit and put a few more packs Careful, don't burn yourself. I think it's a good spot. So, this section is packed pretty well. Now let's work on this side. Same way. Oh, nice. Something that I'm done. But it's okay because. This side is already lined up where I kind of want it, and we can put it. We can just pull it back. Again, do enough tucks. Now, let's see where we need it. Right there. get the rest of it done. So let me put you on time lapse now. see all the heat marks meaning it went real well and here you go you can see my welds not professional but hey i'm learning you know don't weld every day so i think that will do fender is definitely staying and you see the consistent heat mark right there that's like the tack weld were kind of messed up a bit but hey i'm gonna get it grinded down and it's all gonna look nice nice and clean so and that's how it looks from outside and I measured how much everything sticks out here, two, two and a half inches, perfect. So both sides are the same, it meaning the fender wind up where we wanted it. And at this point, you just have the last step to do is uh, get this grinded down with a flop disc right there, uh, with a sander. And that's gonna look, after this, after you grind everything down, that's gonna look like this. So, and after this, do whatever, just bondo, primer, you know, just get it prepped for whatever you need to do, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed it, sorry, I'm a little dirty. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, for some, some of you it might be helpful. It doesn't only have to be 240, it's any other car. Um, this fenders, I think they measure out 29 inches uh, from side to side, and about 10 inches, I, I think like a foot high. So that's gonna work for most of the cars. And again, the quality of the metal and it's custom made hand rolled again, uh, quality is really good. Like metal was, uh, the welding it was pretty crisp. You know, once I figured out the setting, it went like super smooth and everything. So, and a little sneak peek of what's next video is gonna be about. Let me show you real quick. I already did the rear uh, for the whole quarter panel. This one's gonna go fiberglass across the whole rear of the car. And I already got this side done. Um, there was a bunch of bondo here, so I had to clean off, clean it off a lot. And <laughs> don't mind my wheel like this. The whole suspension is there, but it's not adjusted. So that's why wheel is all over the place kind of. So, uh, but the other side is not done yet. And once I do the second side, I'll post a video about how to do this. Pretty straightforward too, a little more work, 
uh, compared to what we did in the front. But again, everything can be done in like a few hours, one side, pretty straightforward stuff. So hope you guys liked it and see you next time.